Welcome to the Valareso Capital Community, where we discuss the stock market and trading strategies to become a consistently profitable trader and investor. Hey traders, welcome back to Valareso Capital. On today's video, we're going to go through the market update and we're also going to take a look at the weekly watch list. I hope guys that you had an amazing, amazing Thanksgiving with your loved ones and that now you're recharged and ready to get back into the market. So let's jump directly here into the charts. I was actually pretty busy this weekend, so I didn't have uh, any time to, to make a proper video for the channel. So right now is the we are a little bit late on Sunday, right? I usually like to, to get these videos in the channel during Saturday. I like to get it even sometimes Sunday in the morning. That's kind of the when I, when I'm a little bit late with the with the videos, we usually get them on the mornings on the mornings on Sundays. But this is what we got right now. It was pretty busy, but let's just jump right here with the charts. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, right? Remember, guys, that we were talking about the possibility of Bitcoin going all the way to forty thousand, and this is exactly the kind of pattern. Let me just take this alert out of the chart, but this is exactly the kind of pattern that the kind of pattern that you want for that for that kind of action, right? You can see right here that we have the price of Bitcoin is starting to to get a little bit tighter, right? If you compare the the price action that we had recently, right, the you can see that the that the that the volatility of this price action was pretty, pretty wide. And now you can see that what is happening is that we're starting to get a contraction of that volatility. You can see that the closing, uh, that the closing price of each candle is starting to get tighter and tighter in comparison with the previous day's uh, candle. So that's actually a pretty positive, pretty, pretty positive uh, price action signal here in the chart of Bitcoin. So I think that at any moment now, we're going to see a really nice rally going all the way to 40,000. And as we have been mentioning, guys, the best looking stocks to play that that move continue to be coin. You can see that coin had an amazing, amazing move to the upside, right? This, this is a crazy move that we had that we were talking about. We can also take a look at Mara and Riot. So those names continue to look pretty, pretty amazing. Let me just jump pretty quickly into Mara. And then we're going to take a look at Riot. You can see right Mara already at the second target that we were taking a look at. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. And of course, of course, if you take a look at Riot, you can see that Riot is already moving to the upside here. I was looking to get some, some, some exposure in Riot, but of course, Riot ended up moving pretty fast. But right now, this is looking amazing. If you take a look here, you can see that we are starting to form a cup. Maybe we're going to form some sort of, of, of handle here or we're probably just going to have a breakout. But this chart is definitely looking pretty amazing. And I think that MSTR is also, is also looking pretty interesting. You can see right here that we are continue to form this really nice mini base at the at the right size of the of the bigger base that we had right here. So we can also call this a, a handle in this kind of cup and handle pattern. So these these charts are con they continue to look amazing. I do think that this is a pretty interesting sector uh, to watch at least uh, until Bitcoin gets to 40,000 and then perhaps we're going to see a little bit of digestion and a little bit of chop. But for now, I think that these moves have a lot more gas into them. So very a very interesting sector to focus on next week. So what I want to show you guys here, let me jump into the big futures. You can see that we are trading right now, right? We are starting. We already had this 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 opening candle right now. Since it's already somewhere around what what time is it? It's 8 p.m. in the is 8 p.m. So this is already trading right because these are the big futures, and you can see right here that we are that we are starting. To see a little bit of support in these futures, you can also see that we have a. You can also see that we have a, a divergence, right? You can see that the price continues to move to the downside, but my indicator continues to tell me that there is a little bit of a divergence here. And now the question is, if we're gonna get some some sort of pop in the volatility, right? That's what the price action is, is suggesting. The price action is suggesting that we're probably gonna see a little bit of a pop in the VIX futures, probably into this into this zone right here somewhere around this 15 to 15.50 zone. I think that's going to be pretty interesting. And also if you anchor a BWAP, which is actually pretty helpful in the big futures, 
you can see that we also have that anchor VWAP around that level. So any move into, into, into that level is probably going to be an opportunity to buy a pullback in the market. So this chart is going to be pretty, pretty important and I'm going to be watching it pretty closely. Now let's take a look at the SPX, right? You know that I love taking a look at the SPX and what I'm seeing here and then we're going to jump into the SP into the into the S&P 500 futures so that you can also see it there but what i'm seeing here is that we are starting to come into a little bit of resistance right you can see that we have these gaps somewhere around this zone this this zone right here and my impression of what my impression in the reaction of the price around those levels is that we're probably going to see a see a pullback pretty soon right you can see that we are pretty overbought in the SPX and any move to retest this zone right here, somewhere around 4,500, I think that's going to be a pretty amazing zone to get some exposure in the SPX. So you can see right here that we continue to hold this 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 anchor view up zone from the from the from the gigantic gap that we had in price, and it's actually pretty interesting to see that this zone is starting to is starting to is starting to be the same zone as the eight exponential moving average, which is the start of this zone, of this gray zone that I have right here. So any pullback at around those levels, I do think that is gonna be an opportunity to buy and then an opportunity to play a move to the upside that is probably gonna go above, above that 4,600 level. So the SPX is looking pretty interesting. So let's take a look at the futures. You can see that the futures are trading, are, are trading down right now. So what this action is suggesting we can see that we are at this kind of of kind of around this double top zone. I don't think this is a double top, but I do think that is a resting zone. So any pullback in the SPX futures, you can see that the eight exponential is already catching up with price. This line right here is the 13 exponential. So any pullback around this area right here, you can see that we have the anchor view up zone. So any pullback around this zone, I do think that is going to be an opportunity to accumulate some. Uh, some you can trade it with the with the ES futures. You can trade it with the with the micro mini futures. You can trade it with the spy call options. You can trade it with the with the SPXL with the UPRO. You can you can find a lot of ways to trade this move. But this one is looking pretty amazing, and I'm actually looking forward to a test of this level of support. And that's actually that's actually going to be a pretty nice opportunity. If we jump quickly into the NQ futures. You can see also that we're trading to the down, that we're starting to see a little bit of pullback, right? You can see right here that we have this this double top zone, and you can see these these weeks that we have uh, as price gets continues to get rejected around this sixteen thousand zone. So that to me suggest that we're going to see a little bit more of consolidation and of course the the level of support that i'm watching in the nq future is going to be somewhere around here so any pullback into that zone i do think that it's going to offer some really nice opportunity to start accumulating more positions in the you can do it with the nq qqq tqqq you can find a lot of ways to trade this move but this is actually looking amazing so as we continue to to watch the the price action here right we can also take a look at the rty we we can see something very interesting here and we can see that we're starting to see some exhaustion in this move to the upside so the thesis for next week remember guys that the purpose of the video is to create a roadmap for this for next week the thesis for this for for next week is that we're probably going to see a retest of the 4500 area in the spx that we saw and we're basically going to see a pullback in the market overall so the best the best corner of the market right now continues to be continues to be crypto as we already mentioned but i'm going to share with you some of the names that i'm going to be watching to trade next week and well if we get a pullback next week these are some of the names that i'm looking to start accumulating a position in so first of all i'm going to keep things pretty simple we already take a look at these charts right we already take a look at the spy we, we were taking a look at the spx i would love to buy the spy somewhere around this zone right here so let me just get my drawing tools so accumulating a position somewhere around this zone right here is going to be pretty amazing in the spy i'm going to be looking to use the 3x leverage etfs i'm also going to be looking at the qqqs accumulating a position somewhere around this area right here it's going to be an amazing opportunity for the for the queues i'm also taking a look at the iwm also looking to trade this with the 3 le 3x leverage etfs if we can get a pullback somewhere around this area right here that's going to be amazing and then looking for a continuation to the upside of course 
And then if we take a look at some of the names that I'm going to be watching for next week, I do have Amazon. I think that Amazon is looking pretty, pretty nice here, right? You can see this beautiful cup and handle. And the, and the beautiful thing about trading names like Amazon is that they are they are actually pretty easy to trade, right? There is some very little probability that you're going to wake up uh, then you're gonna wake up and then Amazon, I don't know, Amazon is down like 20%. That's very, that's very unlikely, right? Because Amazon, of course, is a, me is a, is a mega cap. So the risk of having those gigantic, gigantic gaps to the downside are pretty low. So you can actually trade Amazon with a, with a lot of size. So that's gonna be an advantage. And I'm looking Amazon, somewhere around these moving averages right here somewhere around this 142.50 area i think that's going to be a pretty pretty great area to to get some exposure in amazon and then look for a continuation to the upside this chart is looking pretty amazing and then of course if you want to take a look at some of the names that i'm going to be watching as well you can see that i'm going to be watching at the smh i'm going to take a look at arc this FNGU, FNGU is going to be the, the 3x leverage ETF for the for the fangs in general. So if we happen to see a pullback in the market, then perhaps getting some exposure here is going to give you more of a more of a, a really nice exposure to all the to the max seven names that we have in the market. So that's a great way to trade these names. I'm going to be looking at Tesla, Google, and Nvidia. So you can take a look at those charts in your own. I don't want to make this video pretty long, but let's take a look at NVIDIA here because this one is looking pretty awesome. And the thing about NVIDIA is that NVIDIA has, be, has been basing for a couple of months now, right? You can, see, you can see that this base has been forming all the way going back to July. So any moment now, we're going to start to see some tightness at, the, at this right side of the base. So that's something that we have to do that we have to be ready for because this is starting to look like a really nice double bottom or you can call it a cup and handle so this one is looking pretty pretty amazing the level that i'm going to be watching for nvidia is going to be somewhere around this anchor bwap zone and come from anchor from the from the swing low that we had so any pullback into this area is going to be a great opportunity to start accumulating a position in nvidia and then of course looking for a breakout to the upside and then a continuation to the upside in nvidia this one is looking pretty awesome so once again guys uh, remember that this video is for informational purposes only it was just based on my personal opinion and of course it's not financial advice and remember guys that if you find any of this information useful remember to subscribe to the channel so based on the things that we saw the summary for the video is going to be that we are probably going to see a little bit of a pullback in the market i don't think it's going to be like super substantial but it's going to bring a lot a lot of opportunities so get ready for that guys and i'm actually looking pretty forward to the month of december i think it's going to be pretty amazing it's going to be full of opportunities and we're going to start to get those opportunities next week as we see a pullback in the markets so once again guys thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in future videos have an amazing night take care and bye bye